So SI system units of measurement is an international system. It stands for System International. And we have the measuring systems the, that are developed by different places. They, everyone had different standards of measurement. So in order to make things a standard, everyone, the international community, decided to use an SI unit or the metric system. Okay, so the standard prefixes for the SI units of measure, they're going to be for powers of 10. So 10 groups of 10 are going to be deca, groups of 10 are hecto, groups of, uh, sorry, groups of 100 are hecto, groups of 1,000 are kilo, of uh, 6, this should be 10 to the power 6, okay, groups of million is mega, for billion it's giga, for quadrillion it's tera, okay, and we see that in terms of our, you know, gigabytes, megabytes with computers. When we get into fractions, Okay, one tenth is going to be a deci, one one hundredth is a centi, so if it's, for example, a centimeter is one one hundredth of a meter, millimeter is one one millionth, micro is one one, uh, sorry, one one thousandth, micro is one one millionth, nano is one one billionth, and pico or pico is one quadrillionth, okay? And these are our, our, our suffixes, or sorry, our prefixes for these measurements. So for SI length, so FI, SI measurement of length, we use meters. For weight, we use grams. For frequency, we use hertz, sorry. For energy, we use joules. Okay, sometimes we still use calories a little bit in science. Temperatures, we use Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. So when we talk about naming these, so we in this case here, we got 2 times 10 to the 6 joules. Okay, so the SI prefix that we're going to add to this, so we go back to this, 10 to the power 6 is mega. So we go to 2 mega joules. Okay, so this means we have 2 million joules. Here we have 10 to the 3 times 10 to the power negative 3 meters. That's 1 1,000th of a meter. Well, that's of one that's familiar to us, it's three millimeters. If we have 10 to, 10 to the 10 hertz, well, there's no 10 to the 10 here. There's 10 to the nine, which is giga, 10 to the 12, which is tera. Well, we need to express this with giga. So we only have 10 to the nine. So we have to rewrite this as 90 times 10 to the nine, and that becomes 90 gigahertz. Okay, and that's the frequency of how we measure frequency. So when we talk about measurement, we still use imperial units. So we need to be able to convert between imperial and um, imperial and metric, okay, or SI. So we need to know what kind of units we're going to use uh, when we're measuring things in miles, yards, feet, inches. So for miles, we're talking about distance between cities. Right? Okay, and in SI, we would use kilometers. Yards, we might be talking about, you know, the distance across the playground, across the schoolyard. Okay, and then the equivalent SI measurement is meters. Okay, and you could come up with your own examples here. I'm sure you can come up with different examples of where, why, what you would measure in miles, yards, feet, might be distance across a room. Okay, uh, we might be talking uh, the length um, of a table. Table length. Okay, might be we might be doing it in feet. With this feet, there are equivalent would be either meters or some. We might even use centimeters, depending on if we're talking about you know distance across the room would be meters, whereas table length we might want to measure that in centimeters. Okay, so inches, 
you know, things like uh, the sheet of paper. We would measure in inches, and the equivalent would be centimeters in the SI. So when we're converting between these imperial measurements, okay, we have these conversion factors, and we use them in the same way as we would convert any other rates. Okay, we use these conversion rates to change yards to feet to yards. So in this case here, if I have 770 feet, I can use a proportion, but again, we want to try to use this multiplying strategy or unit analysis, or it's also called dimensional analysis. I want to use yards and feet. So here's my, uh, where's yards and feet? Yards and feet are here. Okay, now if I want to get rid of feet, I need to make sure that the feet units are in the divide spot so I can cancel out those units. And then we end up with yards on top. So when we do this calculation, so 770 divided times on top, divide on bottom, Okay, so we end up with 770 divided by 3, and that's going to give me 256.6 repeating yards. So 256, and we can say two-thirds, but let's use decimals here. We use 6, 7 yards. Okay, so inches to yards. Okay, so we start with 32 inches. And we don't have a direct inch to yard comparison, but we do have inches to feet and then feet to yard. So I'm going to do it like this. So I want to get rid of my inches. So I'm going to do 12 inches on bottom. So they cancel out and one foot on top. There's my ratio. And then I want to get rid of, so I'm at this point, I have a feet and I want to convert it to yards. So I'm going to use feet, three feet on bottom. Okay, so make sure that the units cancel out, and I end up with yards on top. And the yards is the only unit that doesn't cancel, so that's the unit that I end up with. Okay, so when I do this calculation then, I'm going to do 30 times on top, divide on bottom, so it's going to be divide by 12, divide by 3, I'm going to end up with 0 0.88 repeating, so I'm going to round that to 8, 9 yards. Okay, so 32 inches is just under one yard.